I just been cheating on me and today I'm gonna go see his mistress. I never work weekends, but yesterday was a Sunday and I had to work and I get home late and I take a shower and I, you know, settle down. Contacted Aja and I said, what are you doing tonight? And he said, well, I have a competition tomorrow. So tonight I went to go warm up. Competition tomorrow, badminton. And he was like, yeah. And I'm like, you didn't tell me, you didn't ask me to play or anything. Betrayal, betrayal. <laughs> oh, I just got my first sight of Aja's mistress and she is a pretty one. Swimming downstairs, workout room, they have basketball, and then down here they have golf, and then we're going to the badminton course. I just chose a pretty mistress to cheat on me with. A younger woman. I'm being replaced by a younger woman. Now, I've known I've just been coming here for the past couple months. It's a totally new court, you can tell. And uh, it's near his house and not near my place at all. So I've never been here. Like my health problems and stuff, I can only play two days a week, but Aja has a lot more energy than me. So days that I'm too tired or busy or have class, whatever, um, he comes here and plays by himself, you know, at this club. But I've never been. And everybody knows Aja and I play together. And I'm sure some of these people recognize us because Shaman's not such a big city, but this is a very far out of town part of the city. So I gotta get in here and make sure that people know that Aja's my partner and I play with him. Gee, look at how cute this sitting area is. With like little lights and so betrayed, he never told me. The only thing he's ever said about these courts are like, the lighting's not that great, it's not that bright. And I kind of see what he's talking about. <sighs> he has been keeping this a secret from me. I said, you, you should have told me about this. And he said, you can see it for yourself. <laughs> Well, that was nice. We were just warming up and there was two guys next to us warming up too. And I heard one of the guys say, uh, hey, let's play with them. They're awesome. <laughs> so that was really nice. And we played two games, lost one, won one. But everyone here is very friendly. It's a comfortable court and everything. So when I just told me he was playing a competition, you know, I immediately got my head. <laughs> like I was like, who are you playing with? You know, why didn't you tell me about it? And he was like, no, 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 it's not like a real competition. It's, um, I don't even know how to say it in English. It's like a, uh, like a exchange, like a friendly competition between two clubs. So what you do is like one club, you just sign up. And then the other club, they just sign up. And the other club plays somewhere else and they're coming here this week to, to exchange and have some friendly games. So it's not like a real competition and he didn't like sign up with anyone to play. You can definitely see, I don't even know if it started. Just don't keep a track or anything. We're playing at this court here. I don't know what's going on, which is part of the course for me, but as long as I get to play, no complaints here. And even though this court is very far away from my home, it is really nice. Then we got to play some mixed doubles games with people that I've never played with before, which is always fun. told me it is the um, Shaman Airlines. This whole little sports complex workout place is made by Shaman Airlines. When you work for Shaman Airlines, they give you an apartment and everything, like even adults, you know, your own place to live. And uh, apparently, this is totally new, and apparently there's a bunch of new apartments next door. Uh, Shaman Airlines is known for having a really good badminton team. There's a couple teams, there's like a housing, Shaman housing something, and Shaman Airlines are known to have like the top 
amateur teams, even though sometimes they have retired pro players, you know, the young ones that don't actually make it onto like any BWF. Um, we have a ton of those around Shaman that just were good enough to make the national team and train, but not good enough to become famous in the national team. China has so many people on the national team. So Shaman Airlines has hired a lot of those people. <laughs> and so they have a really, really top amateur badminton team, but maybe they come here and train. I don't know, but they're not like here tonight. This is not the Shaman Airlines club. This is a club that is playing at the Shaman Airlines Stadium, or not stadium, sports center. Then I got a chance to play with some of the other guys as my partner. But actually what was really funny is this partner, when I was handing him back the shuttle, I noticed his racket kind of looked like mine. And it turns out he had the same racket as me. And then I noticed our opponent. So then I asked him, what racket do you have? The three of us had the same racket. It was the Victor Thruster F. So just another entrance out here. Whew, it's nice though. It's still quite hot in Shaman, but uh, we got a typhoon, so the temperatures are cooling down a little bit. It's actually comfortable outside where one week ago it was not. It's still too hot outside. Let's go back in, shall we? We saw the scoreboard. There was some sort of competition tonight. We just apparently were not a part of it because nobody paid any attention to our games or asked us our score, so. So, like a dog that pees a little on every fire hydrant, I have marked my territory. And this isn't such a, now they all know that I'm his partner. I don't know how often I'll come back. He will come back a lot more than me, but it's a great court. We have some great games. And Aja can go home very quickly and easily, but I don't know how to get home because this is my first time here, so. We're going to figure that out, and I will see you guys next time on the court. Bye.